Yes, brother. Mic number one in the front. My name is Prem. Full name is Prem Mishra, and uh, I'm a non-Muslim. Uh, I'm a non-Muslim, and my question is the uh, question with you, sir. Uh, actually, uh, I want to accept Islam. It's not. It's it's my own questions. It's 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 not I mean love or something. It's my own questions. It's a, it's a, by, by professionally, I want to uh, accept the Islams, but uh, become a true means like how to uh, what what the true Muslim guys or something. So that's why I just want to know that. Brother, if I heard your question correctly, you want to accept Islam, and you want to know what is a true Muslim. Yes, how to become a true Muslim. How to become a true Muslim. Yeah. Brother, to become a true Muslim, Muslim means a person who submits his will to God. So if you submit your will to God, you become a Muslim. Submitting your will to God means, first you have to agree there is one God, and there is no one worthy of worship besides Allah. Then you have to believe Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. And then, if you read the Quran, as I mentioned in my talk, it is the last and final instruction manual for the human being. So if you read the Quran and implement on the Quran and follow the guidance Allah has given you and abstain from thing which is prohibited, then you become a true practicing Muslim. Yes. And uh, one more, uh, sir, uh, does I have to change my uh, total identity, like as a my uh, name? As a that, sir. Is it compulsory? Is asking to change my name? And is it compulsory to change your name if you accept if you become a Muslim? No. Yes. It's not compulsory. If you want, you can. So changing the name is not compulsory. Unless your name involves shirk. If your name does not involve any shirk, any idol worship, etc., it's perfectly fine. Okay. Otherwise, you can continue with your old name or you can adopt a new name. But if you are proud to be a Muslim, I would advise that you adopt a Muslim name so people would recognize you. Like how if you become a doctor, you put a cross sign to tell people you know you're a doctor so similarly it's not compulsory you should change your name but if you change it's preferable people will know that you're a muslim so now my question to you is now would you like to accept islam now would you like to accept islam yes sir do you believe there is one god yes do you believe that idol worship is prohibited uh, yeah. do you do you believe that idol worship is wrong uh, yes sir yes do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger? Yes, sir. Is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? Uh, is anyone forcing you to accept Islam? No, sir. No, definitely not. Is there any economic pressure? No, sir. Is there any physical pressure? No. Because forcing anyone to accept Islam is prohibited in Islam. No one can force anyone to become a Muslim. Besides being prohibited in Islam, it is also prohibited in this country. Even in India, it is prohibited to force anyone to adopt any religion without its free will. But if you want to accept Islam, no one can prevent you and even the country cannot prevent you. So if you want to accept Islam, I will say in Arabic and you repeat it, brother. Okay? Okay, sir. Ashadu. Uh, Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha, Ilaha, Illa Allah, Illa Allah, Wa Ashadu, Ashadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammad, Abduhu, Abu, Wa Rasuluhu. I bear witness. Uh, can you repeat? I bear witness. I, I bear witness. I bear witness. That that there is there is no God, no God, but Allah, but Allah, and and Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Peace. Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. Is is the servant, the servant, and messenger, a messenger of Allah, of Allah. Mashallah, you are a Muslim brother. Thank you, Lord. I would request that if you can come on the stage and take a copy of the Quran, so that you can be a better practicing Muslim. I'd like to give a translation of the copy of the Quran. I request a volunteer if they can give some copies of the Quran here. Brother, can you come on the stage, please? I would like to give a translation of the copy of the Quran. So that it will help you to become a better practicing Muslim.
ماشاء اللہ جزاک اللہ اینڈ ریپیٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی لیٹ می ایکسپٹ یور ایفرٹس اینڈ می گرانٹ ٹو جنہ ان شاء اللہ دا نیکسٹ کوشچن فرام مائک ٹو ان دا مڈل اف دی جن سیکشن یس بردر ابھی ڈاکٹر جیکن نائک اوشے ادھر آ کے بھاشن کیا جتنا آدمی ادھر یہ بھاشن سننے کے لیے آیا قرآن کو سب کو میں اللہ سے پراتنا کرتا ہے کہ یہ لوگ کا سمسار بال بچے سکی رہو گاڈ کیم یز ٹو یز فار گڈ پروڈکشن اونلی جیکی روشن کیم ہیئر فار گڈ پروڈکشن اونلی The brother before asking his question, he said that he says that there are lakhs, hundreds of thousands of people gathered here and he wishes that peace be on all these people. Then he said that Dr. Zakir Naik has come here to give good message and he's asking the question that he's a Hindu but he has read and he believes in the Quran, he believes in the Bible, he believes in the Veda and he's asking that why are there Pathan, Sheikh, Mullah, Brahmin, Kshatriya, etc.? As far as the question is concerned, why are there Pathan, Sheikh, Mullah? These are family names. No way, just because a per person is a Sheikh or a Mullah or a Pathan does not make him superior to any other human being. The Quran says, in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakrin wa unsa wa jalnaakum shu'umban wa qaba ila litarafu inna kramakum in the loyat kakum inna la alimun khabir O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other not that you shall despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the person who has taqwa. The criteria for judgment in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not sex, it's not caste, it's not color, it's not age, it's not wealth, it is taqwa. It is God consciousness, it is piety. Just because a person is born in a mullah family or a khan family or a sheikh family, will not take into jannah, but taqwa, piety, righteous deed, God consciousness will take into jannah. But, this is the Islamic concept. In the concept of Hinduism, the Vedas say, Almighty God created from the head the Brahmins. From the chest, Kshatriya. Brahmin are the learned class. Kshatriya are the warrior class. God, from his abdomen or his thighs, created the Vaishvas. That is the business class. And from the feet, the Shudras. That is the servant class, that is the slave. This is the concept of Veda. In Islam, no human being is superior or inferior because of birth. There is no caste system in Islam. It is there in Hinduism. And for more details, why this is, you can refer to my video cassette, similarities between Islam and, Krishna, <laughs> Islam and Hinduism. Now coming to your question, first part, you said that you believe in Quran, you believe in Bible, you believe in Veda. I request the people, at least believe that one book is 100% the word of God. Not two, three, four, at least one book. So the Christian will say, I believe Bible is 100% the word of God. The Hindu will say, I believe the Veda to be 100% the word of God. The Muslim will say, I believe that Quran is 100% the word of God. You, mashallah, believe in all three. Let's not discuss that. I'm asking you, today, at least follow what is common. At least what is common in the Veda, Bible and Quran which you believe, at least follow that. All these three scriptures say that God is one. 